All right, boys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about box CC, character CC, team CC, and how you can increase that to its maximum, the best ways to go about it, and why you should do it, which I think is pretty obvious, get stronger. Um, but before we do all that, we have to talk about how CC works, okay? So let's go to Lost Lane, and let's calculate what his CC should be. So the CC formula is 100% of the attack, plus 80% of the defense, and then plus 20% of the health. So if I get my trusted calculator out and we add all these up, so we have the 16,338 and then we have the 9,619 from the uh, defense, right? And then we add the uh, the HP, this is 20% of the HP. Uh, we add this as well. Um, boom, we have 68.796, okay? This is the basis of his CC, okay? Now, the way it works, is substats also play into it, but we haven't found a real way to calculate the subsets yet. Uh, and back in the day, they, they, they used to not matter because they were so tiny, right? We wouldn't have like 100% like, like, like take the, the last digit away from all of these. And that's probably what we used to have. So we never like really knew. And it's hard to calculate these, but most of your CC, as you can tell, is just made up by these three. Okay. 69K pretty much almost. Nice. Is made up by just as basic stats. Okay, and the subsets you can't really influence, right? Uh, well, you can, but like it, you won't get the same benefit. So you want to focus on the basic stats, right? They increase it by the most. So how do you do it? Okay, obviously there's gear, there's cosmetics, right? There's living him up, there's super waking him and everything. But let's talk about the one of the biggest things first, right? One of the most passive ways, and that's your box CC. Okay, now your box CC will give you these buffs. Okay, at 13 million. That's when you start getting the full basic stat package. We get attack, defense, and HP. And that's obviously the biggest jump, right? Going from 12.5 to 13 is huge, right? But um, also going to 4 million for the first time is also a pretty big jump because you go from 10.5 to 12. And after that, obviously, the increases start slowing down. You start getting the defense, but the HP doesn't go up that much. Um, and then over uh, over time, uh, you'll, you'll get to like 10 million, right? And then and then they'll feel nice and you can keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And 30 million, another big jump and so on and so forth, right? So your goal is to eventually reach that beautiful like 15 million, right? Or 17 million, right? That's the max, actually. Yeah, that's that's the goal, I guess. But box CC matters a lot, okay? Now, when I look at a unit like this, like Lost Vein here, I look at the stats, box CC isn't affecting this. This shows me his actual base value. Where it changes it is when I go to the team, right? This is where they're increased. Obviously, we also have the link up, so this is also increasing the stats, by the way. Don't get it twisted. But this is where it actually affected. That's why I have 420k CC. Even though if you had the same setup, you had the same gear, cosmetics, everything, be it lost box, less box CC, you probably would have like 400k. Or less, maybe even, right? Because constellations also play into it. Well, we'll talk about all that. So, now that we know how CC works, I want to explain what box CC is. Now, I know... This will blow your guys' mind. And this is important because I know you guys know. You know. It's it's very obvious. It, it literally is what it is. Right? That's the whole thing. But I feel like a lot of people don't actively think about it this way. Okay? Your box CC. Right? I'm going to say this very slowly. Your box CC is the CC of all the units in your box combined. Okay? So... If you have 100 KCC on this top row, that's 500 KCC, right? If they all have 100 KCC, that's 500 KCC, right? So your goal is to have all your rows be like this, okay? So you have well, 500K, 1 million, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3 million, right? So you have all this. Obviously, no one has 100 KCC, but I'm just saying this because it's easier, right? Well, let's say 50K, right? 50K, because that's obviously super achievable, right? You want to have everyone be at 50 KCC, okay? So this whole row will be 250k, 500k, 750, 1 million, 1.25, uh, 1.5, 1.75. Uh, actually, forgot the 75 here, but you get the point, right? You want to have all your units be as high as possible, okay? So how do you go about doing that? Obviously, the first step is level them up, right? You want to level every unit up. When you look at this, you don't want to see a single like SSR or SR or rare even here. They all should say you are, okay? And they should all at least be 60. Okay, I think 80 is where they should be minimum because it's really easy to get them to 80. But obviously, penance everything is annoying. But 
you are should be your first goal you are every character in your box stop what you're doing right now and just you are every character in your box obviously if you if you're very new to the game focus on your main team first get them to like 100 or 90 at least first and then do that but you get the point right work on your box get every character leveled up right very important now how do you do that you just do demons every day there's no shortcut you have to do demons every day right we all had to go through this go through this at some point there's a lot of things now that make it a lot easier um if you are a dolphin i will mention this it's not necessarily a free-to-play guide i mean it is a free-to-play guide but if you're a dolphin and you buy the monthly which i have to refresh um you get these materials right they, the game plays itself for you right you still have to do them because this is not nearly enough this is like two units but it adds up it's nice uh, so i would suggest getting the monthly i think the monthly and the weekly are the only purchase you should be doing in grand cross but regardless so you got all your characters leveled up right you have a full ur box like yeah and now I look at it I'm like yo like some of them don't have stars that's ugly fix that so how do you get your characters to six stars okay just yellow six stars like the actual just six star awakening how do you do that right oh you have to get all the boss materials haha <laughs> no you don't uh we we have this funny new feature i know you know i don't know why i say that like that but now what you want to do is you want to get all the your boss materials and you want to feed them to merlin right you want to feed them all to merlin boom and then you want to make these stars and you want to have one million stars and you want to feed all these stars into all your units until they're all six star okay i want to see all your box you are with six yellow stars okay bare minimum and the way you farm these is you do boss stage right you do boss stage and then if we go look at the drops they drop they drop all this funky stuff right they drop these chalices and they drop these uh these materials right and these materials you feed into merlin and then merlin is pregnant and she gives you she gives birth to a star and a star you feed to units and then boom you are shilling okay now your entire box is six star it's enti the entire box is six star yellow star awakened and it's level level 80 let's say you are level 80 okay and some you've worked up to 85 or some you've worked up to 90 you want to work in them in batches okay instead of taking one unit and just working them on up right do it like um like i'm doing you do 95 95 95 95 100 100 100 uh 99 85 85 85 uh and then so on and so forth right um that's what you want to do realistically right um i would say get everyone to 80 first right then work on getting everyone to 90 first then get on working everyone to 100 first outside of your main units right like let's say you use unknown and and and, and pp or you want to get your nashi to complete 100 first right obviously that cc will matter but for the most part just get your units leveled up because if you let your ssr and your srs rot in your box then instead of being at 40 50 kcc which is super easily uh, achievable right if i click freesia right she has 48 KCC here, right? Um, and she just has a selector ticket SR outfit, uh, SR set, right? Uh, which were like giving us a free, which you should have gotten uh, at some point if you've been playing for long enough. Um, right? They give them out every now and then. Now I think this anniversary gave them out as well. And they're just good for box CC, okay? But we'll talk about that in a second as well. But she has 50 KCC. She was she had that 50 KCC pretty much. I was talking about you want everyone to have, okay? And you want more on characters, you know, ideally, but you get the idea, right? Um, so what's important is they're all leveled up and they're all awakened okay now that that's done whew, okay now we have to talk about the thing that's probably the most annoying thing and that's going to be holy relics i said let's talk about holy relics first okay you see this funny little star uh you wanna when you click this symbol you want them all to just be like this you don't want them to be like this my one right they don't have you want you want them to be like her right and you want it to be up if you don't have these up then your first trip every day when you log in ship it to creatures nest and then to the demonic beast battles and then you check here okay i don't have this holy relic yet i don't have this holy relic yet and don't go or should i get this holy relic or should i get this holy relic or oh, which one should i get first right no you get them all it doesn't matter just get them all there's no there's it doesn't matter which order you get them in you're gonna get them all okay right now i think there's still double drop event going on um actually i don't think so anymore no it's not um but when there a lot of times well uh, more so now than in the past they do these double drop events and that's when you just want to farm this a million times okay you want to farm this until you have every bird relic right you want to farm uh deer until you have every deer relic you want to farm skull and hardy until you have every skull and hardy relic you want to farm well okay we'll we'll get the unit for this in november you want to do this until you have every nidhogg unit um because they give you cc right 
ignoring the effect, they all give you CC, okay? Some more than others, right? Like, let's say Roxy's uh, Relic, right? Right here. This one says right here, give CC. That's all it is. It just gives you a bunch of basic stats um, to increase your CC. It's the same as Ludo's, uh, right? It's the same one. Like, the same text, they just, they just get more CC. That's pretty much all it is. Um... Lizard's one, for example, is really good because it gives her a lot of health as well. It doesn't. It, it has an actual effect, but the actual stats in the relic are really good. It gives her a lot of health, and what's good about that is that there's four Liz hogs. Okay, there's four Lizards. So when you get the relic, you get the relic for four characters. So you get four times the value. So a lot of these characters, obviously, like Gehada relic, will be less important for Box CC specifically than like a Liz. But you want to get all of them anyway. Right, so you, you get all of them anyway, don't ask questions, don't be foolish, I hate that type of stuff, just get them all, okay? Obviously, bird and deer are obviously the easiest, if you have Thonar, this one is piss easy too, and then Nidhogg obviously is very hard right now, I wouldn't blame you if you don't have any, any of them, they are very uh, limited. But, regardless, right, now you have you have every character you are, you have every character, uh, and then there's guides for these Demonic Beast battles, right, if you need to know which characters you should get up and everything. Uh, I can recommend my friend Amazing. He makes some... Eh, okay, guys, I tell him he needs to step it up. I tell him he needs to step it up. I won't, I won't say it like I don't say it. But uh, he does uh, He he does some good guides on uh, the Mark Beast battles. If you are interested, he does a bunch of teams. Marilla does the same thing. Snagato does some as well for new units. Um, right? They're all pretty straightforward. Don't be, don't be scared of them, okay? And they can be pretty fun. Obviously, farming them won't be fun. But like, just doing them every now and then can be pretty fun. I can't lie. Um... So now you have your entire box. You have your entire box leveled up. You have your entire box six star yellow awakened. You have your entire box um, every holy relic like in the game that you can possibly achieve at your current account state, right? You're happy. Now, what's the next step? Unfortunately, it is affinity farming before I even get into anything else, right? Affinity farming. You want to max out every character's affinity. It's very important because not only do you get a gem when you get to three, level three. You also get an outfit piece when you get to max level for every character. And let's say there's two Merlins, right? There's this blue one and there's the green one. And they are the same. Okay, so if, if a character has the same ultimate, right? They they share their outfits as well. Um, so if I get two characters that have the same outfit, I think it's sort of the character. It's one of these, right? It's like this one, I think. Um, it's not this one. Um, is it this one? It is this one, I think. It is. Okay, so, um, if we look at, uh, for example, what's an easy one? Um, Fat King, I love Fat King. Okay, Fat King, I just get level 5. He gives me a weapon. He gives me this pillow, that's a weapon. Okay, then we go to the next Fat King. We go to the blue one. And he gives me a headpiece. Right? He gives me an afro. We go to the next Fat King, the green one. And he gives me, please be an outfit. It's a weapon to you. Okay, hate to see it. Right? They both give me a weapon and then one gives me a headpiece. Okay? And now I can fill up this these slots easier. Cosmetics do a lot for your characters. Okay? They do an insane amount of stuff for your character. Right? CC-wise. They give you a lot of CC. Okay? Um, and if you have multiple versions of the same character, right? Let's say you have every Fat King. Then you'll have this UR outfit. You'll have this UR outfit. And you'll have this UR outfit. Right? You'll have these, these three UR outfits are just from leveling up the unit. Okay, and then you get their weapons, and then I have this weapon from Affinity, and I have this weapon from Affinity, right? So it all, you know, it all works out together. And then you want to have five out of five slots for every uh, cosmetic, right? As you can see here, you can only equip five of them, right? So I don't have the SSR equipped over the UR ones, right? The UR one is equipped, you can tell by the arrow, and the SSR isn't equipped, okay? And that's what you want to have. Now, you want to max these out as well, right? You want them to look like this eventually, Um uh, Right, where there's five maxed, uh, five maxed, five maxed, okay, for all of them. Right, Golther has infinite amount of cosmetics, by the way, it's actually insane. But, regardless, um, yeah, you want to have all these, um, you want to max these out, now you get these from doing raids, so when you farm the materials to level up your characters, you'll get these as well. And you, But those, you want to work on the like, these, like to level up the, the, the slot stuff, you want to use these only on characters, that you actually use, okay, for, for the time being, right? Later down the line, eventually you can do them on the other characters, but it'll take a while until you get there. I'm not even there yet. So you want to have all your main characters, right? Max cosmetics, five out of five slots, right? Some you have to buy with gems. There's no other way around it. And if you want to do that, I'd suggest you wait until New Year's because that's when cosmetics go on sale. Cosmetics, they just give you basic stats and some substats. So they're just CC that's really easy to get sometimes for some characters. 
some it's harder. Um, and you want to have five out of five for the important characters, right? And if there's a free to play outfit for grabs, like it is right now, then you want to have um, you want to have that one uh, be available as well. I swear he's giving you an outfit. I swear he's giving, he gives you an outfit. Don't don't fool me to the first page. Okay, though he doesn't give you one. Interesting. Okay, but usually you character. Do you get one here? You don't get one here. Okay, whatever, right? But usually you do get one, okay? Usually you do get one. Uh, my game is way too loud, I know. I um, hope I fix that in post. But anyway, um, you want to get all free-to-play outfits, right? There's Hawk Pass outfits, right? And you want to get these well, You're going to want to get these ones too, right? Uh, you want to get all these outfits, okay? If you don't have the outfit, you want to get these because not only does it give you CC, right? It also, and this will lead into the next point, it gives you GP. Now, GP is what you need to, uh, so you get GP from leveling up characters to max, by the way. Um, but you get GP, which are these funny little points here, and you need these to um, unlock more constellations. Okay, now this slot right here, right, will cost me 35 GP. Okay, and the lower you are, the less they cost, but they all give you GP, and you want to max max out all your constellations, right? It doesn't matter what order you go, right? Um, like I for the for the most part I would just like uh, I would just click um, auto like this button just auto the piece uh, the plates whatever you have just do that right it doesn't matter like oh do you do I go this path or this path first they're pretty linear anyway just just go right don't think about it just feed in your GP but you want to generate as much GP as possible right and GP you get from um, ultimates from pulling characters from uh, outfits and from leveling up characters okay. So, another big thing for character CC is going to be the ultimate level, and you want to see as, as many of these level maxes as possible, okay? Now, another big thing is, you might think, oh, I want to super awaken my characters, which I haven't touched on yet, but when you want to super awaken your characters, that's fine and all, don't use coins of characters that aren't 6-6 six -six yet, okay? So, let's say you, you pulled a dupe of this Liz, right? She is trash. She is worthless. Even Labyrinth, she is actually garbage. So... You're like, okay, I don't need her. I'm going to feed her into my Esther Rosa. I love Esther Rosa. No, you're not. You're going to feed it into her because it's 400 CC per old level. So it's 2K CC uh, for a 6-6 six, six unit. And if you do it to every unit in your box, right? Every unit in your box. I, don't, I actually don't know how, how, I don't know how many units there are in Grand Cross, right? Let's say there's 400 units in Grand Cross. I don't think so, though. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot less. But, um, right? Uh, you get For every character, right? This entire row... Is 6 6 so i get 2k extra cc for this entire row right so i get 10k extra 20k 30k 40k extra box cc right it's nice you should do that and you get gp for it too so you should do that um so yeah that's almost every way i think that doesn't involve gear because i want to save gear for last but yeah now we have gear uh your all your characters are leveled up they're all six star yellow awakened, right? Super awakening just comes with time. Events will give you super awakening coins. Um, every now and then you'll get this uh, dungeon key, right? Every two weeks, and you'll feed it into um, the SA coin dungeon, everything, right? Into this thing, uh, which you shouldn't do, by the way. You should do anvils until you're set on your gear sets. Then you can start doing the SA coin dungeon one. But this one is so trash. No, it's just so trash. Um, but regardless, right? Events will give you some, right? I think if we go to this event, uh, yeah, there you go, three here. And then I think later on the rewards, I don't think I can check them yet. Okay, I, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can. Um, right, if we go to the, like, final, final, all right. Extra ones, there we go. Um, oh no, these are bad, right? Yeah, the extra ones are bad, hold on. Um, let's go to, okay, I can't go backwards, okay. Um, right, this one, right? Uh, it doesn't give you, okay, it doesn't give you a sequence. I hate to see it. Um, but it gives you anvils, so that's good enough. Anyway, it's a good event, it gets the job done. Um, and like events in general, just like this one's just a bad event, but like usually events will give you stuff, right? If I, if I go to this Hulk event, I'm sure that the shop will actually give me uh, say coins here. Surely they won't scam me yet again. Um, right? Like there's essay coins here. Yep, yep, there's definitely, yep, yep. Okay, well, there's no essay coins and stuff, so you hate to see it. But, yeah, usually events happen, right? It's just cringe right now, it didn't show me. But you'll get them, you'll get them from logging in and everything, you'll get them over time, that's fine and all. You get them from story, from Ragnarok and everything. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Um, Super Awakening, there's not really much I can tell you. Uh, you'll get them over time. Uh, over time, you'll, you'll pull characters that you already have 6-6, six, six, right? And you feed them in. Uh, you can feed in SRs, is fine. Rs, I would never feed in. Rs should just always be AP potions. 
But as far as you can feed in, I suppose there's not much better things you can do with them anyway. But you want to make sure every character is to six, right? If if you pull a fat king, you feed that fat king. You don't waste it on a different character, okay? Now, last but not least, we have gear. Okay, actually, well, old level also, but you know this. Um, old level also directly corresponds to how much CC you get from a link, right? The Sariel is 6-6, six, six, or this, this guy is 6-6, six, six, so I get 10% of his stats, okay? I get 10% of his stats, it says right here. Now, this Rimuru is 1-6, so I only get 5%, right? Each old level increases the stats you gain from the character by 5. Um, so you want to have the character as your link 6-6 six, six as well, right? So Red Star have them 6-6 six, six is super important because then he gives you more stats. And if you're going to use him as a link, you want to have a character that is 6-6. Six, six. Okay, but that's, I feel like people knew this. I, I didn't feel like I had to mention this. Um, now, one thing I want to mention too, actually, before we get into this, and it's a little nice tip. There's a traveling merchant, which I can't show right now. And there's also a PvP shop that you can buy uh, outfit, well, not outfits, weapons in, right? Which are cosmetics still. Um, so if we go up to this guy right here, Maybe you never saw this. Uh, you go to the weapons tab, there's SR weapons, there's SSR weapons, and there's UR weapons, right? You probably have all these already, right? Because they're just ancient. They haven't updated it ever. So, I want to mention that in case you're a new player, you never did it, uh, go get that done. Um, so now we have gear. Gear is very important, okay? Now, the way gear works is you want to slap on 4-piece attack, 4-piece defense, um... As uh, so a two-piece defense or four-piece HP and four-piece uh, two-piece crit, right? In whatever combination like suits you. Okay, it's always a four-piece and a two-piece. Ninety-nine, nine, 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 nine percent of the time, right? Some that's very, 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 very few, like less than a handful of characters. We're like, okay, I want to go full defense or I want to go full crit, right? For the most part, it's just HP defense or attack crit on every character. Okay, and the thing is, you want to make sure for box CC that every character is geared. Okay, every character needs to have gear on, okay? So if I click this, uh, the end, I want to make sure she has gear, okay? Now, the way you want to gear characters is, um, uh, I'll probably see it on Golgis here. Yeah, so what you want to have is, actually, that's not even good examples. We can get a better one. Uh, let's go to, um, what are you, Gustav, right? Yeah, so the way you want to have gear is this is also not perfect, but it's good enough to show right now. This bottom left slot, this gives you HP. Now, we already showed you the calculations, okay? And HP gives you the most CC, okay? So, you always want to have 4-piece HP and 2-piece defense on the characters in your box that you aren't going to use. And you're just going to give them a random set to have more CC. Because, like I said, your box CC is the combination of all your characters CC together, okay? So, um, uh, what do you call it? You want to have, you want to make sure every character is geared too, right? It's the easiest way to get CC. It gives you the biggest chunk. So, this HP thing gives you the most, okay? Now, the left side of gear gives you more CC than the right side of gear, okay? This one gives me 12.2k. If I go here and I go on SSR as well, 5.7, 12.2k, right? The rolls don't matter. They don't affect the basic stat, obviously. Um, but when you do get the SSR one, you don't have to roll it. If it's 5 star plus 5, it's better than a rare that's 15%. Okay? Now, the benefit of rare gear is that you can roll it for gold. Okay? So you can guarantee that it's perfect. And you want to do that. You want to make sure everything is rare. Like, this one's rare. This one should be rare as well. Uh, this one should be... Well, actually, I don't have a defense one. There you go. It should be this one, but maxed out um, to plus 5. Um, actually, we can, we can change it, right? I can do, like... Let's just do this, okay? Just for the video's sake. We do this, and then we... We... Okay, well, no, I'm not gonna give him that one. But I'm gonna give him this, okay? Boom. Okay? So this is what you want your gear to look like, okay? The middle piece of the fence gives you the least amount of CC, so you just leave them, right? Just give them any, any, any rarity. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's the right set, okay? It doesn't matter which in which order you arrange your set, uh, right? Some people will tell you, oh, have the middle ones be defense, have the middle ones be crit. It doesn't matter, right? Uh, when you make multiple sets, you just want to make sure that the defense ones and the crit ones uh, are the same slot, so you can switch them out freely. Uh, but that's really it, right? But it doesn't matter where you put them. Um, so now you have your right side that gives you less stats, which we know, which while you want to have rare gear, and the left side, which want to have SSR gear, potentially, it's fine if you just have rare gear everywhere, though. Uh, our gear, but um, you want to put that everywhere and then you want to upgrade it. Okay, now the R gear you obviously want to roll, you want it to have good stats, 
you want it to have a good main stat you want to have a good basic stats now there is are these selector tickets as well that they give out like every now and then and these selector tickets are good because they will allow you to do things like um now i have to find her which is going to be turbo cancer but um freesia there right well, which will allow you to have these SSR gear sets that give 15% basic stats, right? And they're, they're nice. Um, I, could, I should just give her this one too, whatever. Boom, there you go. Full SR gear set, right? HP, 4-piece HP, 2-piece defense, um, max amount of CC, and she has 49k CC, right? And she too has cosmetics, right? But you get most of these for free. You won't, you shouldn't buy these with thingy. But she's an SR, she's 6-6, six, six, right? Boom. Um, and she's leveled up because it's easy. She takes SR pendants. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You increase your thing and everything, and then you increase your box CC, you get GP, you increase your constellations, um, they all add to your CC, right? There's this system too, these rocks that you get every week, um, and they pretty much just let you reroll these stats on all the nodes and make them bigger, right? That's pretty much all this, so you get some bonus stats, um, that, that really, that's, that's all there is to it, right? The sounds the are pretty straightforward. But yeah, now if you followed everything, you leveled up your characters, you gotta have your holy brother, you geared every character, you got them awakened, you got them super awakened, you got them 6-6, six, six, you got them leveled up to 100. Now you have my box. Now you have 14 million CC, you have a 420k CC PvP team, you can beat every demonic beast battle, boom, there you go. Now obviously, that requires you having every character in the game as well. You obviously won't do that. Um, if you only have 50 characters, you can only get those characters worth of CC. If you only have 271 characters, you can only get that much. If you have 350 characters, you can only get that much. So on and so forth, right? Also depends on your box. It depends how you summon. So you should always summon smart, okay? Never summon on a banner unless you can finish pity. Never summon on a banner unless it's a good banner, okay? Which we will tell you usually, okay? Tier was a good banner. Freya is not a good banner. Don't summon Freya. Should have summoned on tier, right? Uh, but the general rule of thumb is don't summon anything that isn't a festival, only summon the festival banners. Um, Tier is an exception, he's the only 600 unit where I'd say you should summon. But usually, you skip every 600 unit, you summon on anniversary, on some fests here and there that are good, and then mainly half anniversary in November, and New Year's in you know, New Year's. Um, and that will set your account up for everything. You'll pull enough of everything. You'll have so many gems, right? Because you save up the PP gems, you save up your weekly, you get like 500 every month. Right? And then if you play a lot, you do everything right, you'll have a lot of gems for every banner, and you can make your account very big and strong. But that's gonna be it for us. Um, if you have any more questions, you can ask in the comments, but I think I covered everything. If I forgot anything, that'll be very embarrassing. But I think I covered everything. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me, boys. Um, yeah, also, well, real quick, uh, gear sets, for, you, for the characters you use a lot, like the Meliodas, the Escanors, the Deans, they have a lot of characters, right? You wanna have multiple UR gear sets. UR gear set is just, well, you, I'm, I'm not going to explain how you get UR, UR gear, right? You get your SR gear, you upgrade it to UR gear, you engrave it for one character. Now, um, Meliodas, for example, right? I have multiple sets, right? I have two HP defense sets, right? This one's perfect, right? This one's not. I have two attack sets, right? This one's not perfect, this one is. Um, and I have more, but like, that's Meliodas, right? But like, you want to have multiple for these characters eventually, right? Focus on having two. Right? Focus on having an attack and an HP one for melee first. Focus on having an attack and an HP one for Dian first. Focus on having an attack and an HP one for Bon, uh, for King, for Gother, for Merlin, for Escanor, right? For the main characters, for Liz, and then, and for Zeldris, for Esserosa, and then you work on uh, having more of them, right? You have, like, okay, I want to have two HP defense for uh, Meliodas, because he has Solar CC. It's just nice if I have them, them all geared. But yeah, that's going to be it for me, for me boys. Um, yeah. That's going to be for me, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, any questions, let me know. Good job.